Hi YouTube, a little update on my uh, Dutch bucket tomatoes. As you can see, they're really kicking it up here. Doing a pretty decent job of uh, catching up. I got strings all strung up. No, I didn't go with the uh, little spools, but uh, maybe some here. Just not ready for it. You know, there's only so much you can do in one time. Uh, starting to get gets expensive. Uh, my wife will not argue that. So, anyway, uh, she's been pretty gracious through this whole deal. But uh, uh, I know I'm wearing her patience then. So, uh, looking at my weeds and my grow boxes here. I've got seven of them set up. Got to get these peppers and tomatoes in them. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do is just put all the... Uh, probably got more in tomatoes than what I need to do. But I guess I'd kind of like to try to grow all the tomatoes in here. Uh, if I can. I think it'd be maybe advantageous to do so. Eight twenty-one. Almost bedtime. But I think I showed you I uh, planted some cabbage in there, but the, I think it got a little hot the first day I put it in there, and it was really pretty tough on it. The guy should have had them in there a long time ago. Well, I'm going to leave it, see what happens. Uh, there are leaves that are alive on it. I'm kind of hoping that uh, they do snap out. These uh, tomato plants definitely snapped out of things, so uh, really happy with this. These are the ones I uh, started from every one individual one was from seed except for that big one down there. Uh, <clears throat> that's part of this uh, whole cloning thing I've, I've done. I uh, took some uh, cuttings and uh, obviously it's probably a little warm in here. I should probably throw some nutrients in this pail and give them a little bit of feed, but I'm sure that they will be growing roots here soon and get them planted in here because I really don't have any room to put any more in. But uh, I don't know if you recall, uh, if you look back at my other videos, really coming along. And uh, I have hooked some of these up with my trellis clips to give it a little bit of a stretch them out towards the skies. Even this little guy in the end here, he he's, uh, belongs to the ones over, smaller ones there by seed. But this is, right here is the original mother plant. Uh, been really tough on her, but uh, give her a chance, see if she can pull out of it. Uh, seems to be doing pretty good. Did some major pruning here the other day. Got rid of uh, some of the lower leaves that were a little discolored and stuff. And, uh, and we'll let them grow out a few more leaves before I start pruning some of these lower ones again. But uh, as you can see, trying to get a little bit of algae in these pails. Turning a little green there on me. Obviously the fertilizer is a little green anyway. Uh, but... Uh, I know that's probably got to be algae. If you can see through it, I'm sure the sunlight's getting through it, and that was a big mistake on my part. I uh, should have. Uh, I was thinking about getting some black duct tape and uh, or something that's opaque and covering it. I know that uh, MHP Gardener uses uh, uh, some uh, plastic that you can't see through. Black plastic. Should have done that, but. Uh, Live and learn next year, I guess. Um, hopefully be a little bit ahead of the game here. But uh, pretty pleased with my tomatoes started here. Got some uh, Rutgers down here. If you see the ones that have uh, the tomato looking leaf there. Or potato, I should say. Potato looking leaf. You can kind of tell the difference. You can definitely see these are got a tomato-like leaf, but this one right here is definitely has uh, the potato look going on. Those are 
uh, Brandywine Pinks. Uh, these down here are my big beef. Those are doing really well also just in a uh, save everything. I got these little uh, yogurt and cottage cheese deals. Uh, 